Furiraba. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Furiraba. And today we're going to read uh, Dina's after story. So, without further ado, let's start. Play the after stories, Dina. Hey, Irina. I woke you. Ah, this is heaven. We are currently in the summer of our third year at George's High Academy. It has already been one year since I asked Irina out in front of the bridge. We've both been so busy with exams and work these days that we never seem to have enough time to spend with each other. However, our lives are still going pretty well. The only real change to speak of is that I'm no longer with my old job. I landed myself a nice part-time position at the bento store in front of the station. Yeah, I kind of tore it the other day trying to stick a dude boy into it. A what? Hey, don't lie. You love that part of me. Wow. Oh no? Then why are you going out with me? What the fuck? Give me a break here! I always thought it was funny. How did some loser gamer nerd like me who can cook, has terribly average looks and has the mental capacity of a 12-year-old snag such a hot girlfriend? No. Stop lying. Okay, hold it. You are the one who's gonna have the hardest time living with that. I sincerely apologize. As atonement for my sin, I shall commit seppuku. Fine, I'll do it. Rina chan's so sexy. Rina chan's so cute. Rina chan makes my pee pee hard. Me wanna licky licky Rina chan. She's been grumpy this whole afternoon, I swear. And it just so happens that whenever I see her like this, I always get this overwhelming urge to hit on her. Hey, Elena. You realize we kissed just now? And would you look at that? Your pussy's already wet too. She's wearing shorts, yet she slouches forward like she's trying to hold down her skirt or something. We've been going out for ages now, but she never fails to blush from ear to ear whenever the topic gets sexual. Ha! <laughs> I'm just playing. No way I'd be able to know that without sticking my hand down there. Yes, yes, degrade me more! Okay, please don't point that out. Anyway, are you hungry? It's about lunchtime. No worries, I'll make something. Hehehe, <laughs> I have no need to bother my dear Dina with something as trivial as whipping up lunch. I have been making plenty of lunches at work lately, so if I make use of my new skills, this should be easy peasy. Wow, excuse you! I'll have you know that I've been refining my skills every day at the bento shop. Hehehe, <laughs> I sure hope so. Either way, be prepared to have your socks knocked off. Hmm? Someone just texted me. Hey, hey, how's the newlywed life with Rina going? 
I have two free movie tickets, but I can't go. They're all yours, so do you want them? Oh hell yeah, based Mahiro Sensei. Seeing no real reason to decline them, I graciously accept. I do kind of feel bad about getting these for free, though I'll have to make it up to her sometime. Nani? Mata momochi kara netoge no sasoi? Nah, it was Ayabe. She had some free movie tickets and wanted to know if we wanted them. I went ahead and said yeah. Something wrong with that? You can try to fool me all you want, Rina, sweetie, but not today. The look on your face tells me everything I need to know. Give it up, you're like an open book. So what's wrong? Something got you feeling anxious again? She pauses her sewing work, then comes over and wraps her arms around me. This is what she always does whenever she's feeling anxious or lonely. Hey now, no need to apologize. You didn't do anything wrong. But like, are you bugged by Ayabe texting me? Ever since we started dating, she's developed a bad habit of getting jealous of my female friends. She'd never let it show at school, only when we're alone at home or elsewhere. It's fine, I mean it. I try to be more careful about these things now that I have a girlfriend. I don't even know what there is for you to be worried about. You're the only girl I got eyes for, and you and I both know I'm about as popular as a shit sandwich. They all probably just see me as some immature dipshit without a single redeeming feature. Um, what? Hold it! You're scaring me here! I'm sorry for existing. You sure about that? Sure. Uh, look, I'm glad you feel that way and all, but you are seriously exaggerating here. How does this girl love me so much? What kind of damn chick magnet did you think I was? Heck, we've been in the same class for ages, so you should know how much of a loser I was. Look, I'm a guy, and we guys tend to show off around girls we like. That's just what we do. But when we're in love with that girl, that shit amplifies tenfold. And I love you, whether you're the cool cat normal Rina or the worried and frightful Rina. So frankly, I'm not worried about what other people think of me. I'm happy as long as I have you, Rina. Plus, my brain is the size of a damn pea. It's too occupied thinking about you to have room for other girls. Sure. Come on, Rina. Come closer. What the hell is your deal today? Lads, my girlfriend has finally lost it. Wow, you're really struggling with this. She flashes me a feeble smile. Though, as her boyfriend, this makes me glad. The fact that she's willing to open up to me about her worries is truly relieving. Oh, relax. I don't think you're annoying at all, Irina. I always tell you, you can act as selfish and spoiled around me as you want. I fell in love with you for who you are, selfishness included. Whoa, hold up! What are you doing, crying in the middle of the damn day? Oh 
All right, there, there. <laughs> You're all over the place today, Irina. I take over her kitchen and start putting the skills I've been honing at work to the test. Today's lunch is going to be ankake yakisoba, something we both love. Hey, Irina. Hmm? We haven't both been free on a weekend in ages. You want to go somewhere and do something? Whoa! She suddenly pushes me onto the bed. <laughs> wow, someone wants to be pampered today. Did something happen at work? Or are you still worried about Ayabe? <laughs> she hugs me tightly and doesn't let go. I can smell the sweet fragrance of the shampoo we share drifting up from her long, gorgeous hair. Elena, your tits are pressed up against me. Uh, um, Elena, you're super horny right now, aren't you? The hell is this cat act? In fact, I believe you've wanted to fuck all morning. Just fess up already, Elena. We both know that your lies don't work on me. Has this girl anamorphed into a cat or what? I'll take that as confirmation that I'm right. Now say what you really mean. Amused by this whole cat thing, I try petting her on the head. Hot oh, damn, it's so rich and glossy. What's she eating to get hair this beautiful? My girlfriend is such a sight to behold that I never grow tired of watching her. <laughs> Oh, hell yes. I wrap one arm around her waist and bring my other hand up to her tits. Huh, is it just me or are your tits bigger today, Irina? Ah, that's why you are so sensitive. I grope her tits as we roll around and make out on her bed. She kisses me back just as passionately. Our tongues coil around each other in a never-ending battle. What? But we were just getting to the good stuff. What's wrong with that? Well, no, duh, that's the whole point. Yes. Hmm? She's being super vague with me and I don't like it. What the hell is going on? She doesn't seem against the idea, but I'm obviously not gonna force her if her heart's not in it. Hmm, alrighty then, I'll give it up. I've been doing a lot of thinking about the whole setting the mood thing you hear people talk about, right? I feel like we've just straight up been skipping that bit lately. Did you say something? I decide to get out of bed and turn on a game console. Can't go wrong with some good old gaming during your free time. Yeah, figured we could play together. We've kinda played all the games here to death though. You got anything else? Some kind of party game is probably what I want, if she has one. I would say we could do a co-op shooting game, but we always end up getting into really heated arguments when we play those. Let's see. Action, rhythm, RPG, RPG, rhythm, rhythm, RPG, 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 rhythm. Alina, have you ever thought of, like, branching out? 
そっちだって似たようなもんでしょ Well, what ifs? Guess we'll just go with the action one and promise not to bitch and complain at each other. Oh, what's this? Something near the back of the shelf catches my eye. Holy hell, this takes me way back! Huh? What was A yearbook from our old school. Oh, I can't do it. But it's not so much. It's not so much. I'll always just look through mine once, then like shove it somewhere in my closet never to be seen again. I dive back onto the bed, yearbook in hand. You know, I never cared for these much before, but I'm getting pretty excited at the thought of flipping through this. What was this again? One of our trips during our first year? やっぱりこうして改めて見ると懐かしいわねこの頃はまだ私の方が背高かったもんね Oh yeah, you were I hit my growth spurt in the second half of second year I distinctly remember how Adina would always call me manlet whenever we'd bicker back then You know, we actually hardly talked to each other at all in first year even though we were in the same class I still have a lot of memories of us arguing about random shit though. So, yeah, so you. Not the matter, she, Jin and the Kuruma. Kyosuke no koto, sake de tashi. Oh, that makes sense. I was kind of surprised when I heard it from Ayabe. Hehe. Anta was no he, Nibukata karane. Matashimo, Kono Kuruma, Mecha, Tamakatakatashi. Hokano Tashi no koto mo fukumete. Mine is Mahiro ni Guchiko boste takara. Our relationship feels so natural right now, but I have to remember things weren't always like this between us. I was a cheeky little shit back then, and I'd always try to annoy her and piss her off because of her constant efforts to ignore me. I still managed to influence you a fair bit though. Like with games and anime and stuff, and you went and bought that MMO I told you about before graduation, remember? <laughs> oh, and man, you used to diss on rhythm games a shit ton too. I remember one time when I was showing off my mad skills on one of those drum games, and this girl and all her friends had the audacity to point and laugh at me. こうして見ると、人の人生って何がきっかけで変わるのか本当にわからないわね。Once a rhythm game hater, now a full-blown addict. This girl is the only person I know who would wait outside in line for a midnight release of a rhythm game. Oh, this is from our field day in second year. I can finally admit how fine you looked in your gym clothes too. Hey, I, I did that? Mm. Oh, this one's from our field trip. We sure are in a lot of these photos together at this point. それね、実は私もこうして京介と付き合ってから聞いたんだけど、まひろって実はこの頃から私たちのことをくっつけようとしてたらしいの。Wait, really? うん。だって私たちが一緒に写ってるその写真、撮ってるの全部まひろだから。Are you freaking kidding me? God, what a shocking revelation! Ayabe Sensei was secretly plotting to hook us up way back then? Holy shit, this girl is on the next level. I only really started talking to Ayabe once we came to Josai. Before then, we'd been in different classes, so she and I never spoke a whole bunch. Does she just, like, have a shit ton of free time to kill or something? She's still an enigma to me, but I feel like I may be onto something. Hmm. You know, I'm really missing these days after looking at all these photos. Like, I haven't seen you wearing the sailor uniform in ages, and we've both grown so much. Mm. Mm. Huh? Oh, hell yes, I'd love to see it. わかった。でも夜ね。引っ
引っ張り出してアイロンもかけなきゃいけないし。What? But I wanna see now! Now! だーめだって、来たら多分すぐに襲ってくるでしょ ?Oh, you can bet on that! だからだめ。夜までお預け。Why? I just don't get this girl today. だって今からエッチしたら、どうせそれだけで一日潰れちゃうでしょどうせだったら、夜までたくさん遊んで、それからするならした方がいいと思わない After saying that, she starts rummaging through the games on her shelf. Hmm, she appears happy, but there's something that isn't sitting well with me. I've developed a sixth sense for knowing when there's something Adina wants to tell me, but isn't. Ha, what is this? アクション RPG なんだけどネットにもつなげて海外プレイヤーとも対戦できるのあとはそうね音ゲーのバトルモードなんてぶっちゃけ勝負にならないし、um, Rina, I'm happy to play games and stuff, but are you hiding something from me? えあな,なんで Well, like my boyfriend's senses are kind of telling me that. Yo, what the hell is with that weird attitude change? I, I can barely believe what I'm about to say, but, Arena, do you actually not want to have sex today? Whoa, come on now, dodging the question like that's just gonna make me more worried. Have I not been satisfying you in bed lately? Is it my fault? Please tell me. I absolutely need to know for my own sanity. <laughs> Ultimately, we ended up playing games all the way until the evening, Rina teasing me the entire time. She specifically requested that we spend the day at home, and quite honestly, it wasn't half bad playing games and seeing her laugh and smile. Okay, Rina, I'm gonna turn off the lights now. I climb onto bed with my cell phone in my hand as I call out to Rina. I've gotten into a bad habit of screwing around on my phone before going to bed. It's really bad, actually. Once I start browsing the web, I find it really hard to fall asleep. Hello, Rina? What? Shit, I totally forgot about that. I was already in nighty night mode and everything. Oh, fucking yes, you look way too cute. She clutches the hem of her skirt in embarrassment. That shy act gets my heart pounding at double speed. This really brings back memories, seeing it on you like this. There was the time you got caught skipping out on classroom cleaning duty, or how you used to cry before all the classes you hated, like English and math. I know this sounds weird, but it all feels like yesterday. Now that we're together, our relationship feels like the most natural thing in the world to me. Back then, neither of us would have ever imagined that we would someday be dating. We were still kids, after all. Serious romantic relationships were like a foreign concept to us. The only thing on my mind was having as much fun as I could, in school and out. In school and out. Rina, being Miss Smarty Pants, always took her classes and club stuff seriously, so she'd make fun of me non-stop for my lackadaisical attitude. We seemed like polar opposites as people, but through gradually spending time together, we eventually became interested in each of our respective hobbies. We became attracted to each other, even if only slightly. We've both had this thought numerous times, but it truly is nothing short of a miracle. 
You know, now that we are talking about all this, I feel a little regretful. Never mind, I don't want to say it. Heck no, I'm not saying. You'll probably just laugh your ass off. Promise me you won't laugh? I'm a pretty simple minded guy. S so, uh. The embarrassment is really hitting me now. I was just wishing that, like. I'd given you a chance earlier, so, like, we could have started dating when we first met. Then right about now, we'd be all happy and merry, celebrating our 6th year anniversary or something. Hey, are you listening to me? <laughs> what? Hey, calm down, why are you crying? <laughs> Hey now, why are you doubting me? I was the one who asked you out in the first place, right? You should honestly have more pride in yourself, Rin. Like boasting to the world about how much you know I love you. She pulls me into a strong embrace. Really? Hot oh, damn, you must be one lucky girl then. We press our lips together in an act that's become as natural as breathing to us. She wraps her arms around my waist, then leans on me. What happened to earlier? You kept like avoiding the subject anytime I'd bring it up. So you're a masochist, are you? Sounds like a plan. Just be warned, though, I'm not gonna hold back tonight. Are you prepared? Without another word, we begin kissing. Now that my beautiful girlfriend has given me the okay, I'm going to take off my limiters tonight. You sure seem to want to. Sure, but it's been a while, so use your tits too. With that, she takes off her scarf and exposes her large breasts to me without a hint of shame. She takes off her bra too, then places my cock between her tits, which have managed to get bigger since the last time I saw them. What? And cut! I'll see you in a second. It's been a solid hour since we had sex. I should be exhausted as hell after all that, but I can't fall asleep. It's such a peaceful night that I've ended up doing a lot of thinking. Rina and I will be graduating Josai this year. 
Some of our peers have already started looking into jobs and colleges. If we want our relationship to stay strong, we need to make decisions about our future sooner rather than later. <laughs> yep, out for the count. <laughs> Hmm? After that, she squirms her way out of bed. For a moment there, I thought she might be going to the bathroom, but it doesn't seem to be that. You hungry or something? I <laughs> Uh, what the heck's gotten into you today? Well, no, duh, but that's not what I'm asking about. <笑>ちょっとその辺は曖昧かも Oops Unable to endure it any longer, I pull my wonderful girlfriend into an embrace. Nah, I'm good. I'm not a crybaby like a certain someone in this room. <laughs> it's already past two in the morning. Me and my girlfriend are still awake for no real reason in particular. We just cuddle and talk about the most mundane stuff. I can easily imagine five or ten years going by and nothing at all changing here. Hey, Irina. Hmm? I really am glad you entered my life. You're the greatest girlfriend a man could ask for. I love you, Irina. Hmm. Okay then, whose route do you all want to see next? Yuzuyu's route or Misaki's route? Once again, you will find a link to a straw poll in the video description below, where you can vote for the route you want to see next. Well then, that's it from me for now, so thanks for watching everyone, and have a nice day. Bye bye!